I don't know if you guys can hear that rain coming down. It's pouring in the mountains. Prepare ship for light speed! No, 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 light speed is too slow! Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed! <gasps> ludicrous speed! Go! I am glad you guys are with us. Glad you're with me on this journey. This is the trail coming down off of Albert and the trail ahead. Definitely a lot easier than the climb up for sure. But my goodness, it was worth the views. I don't know if you'd call us a tramley yet or what, but uh, nice to celebrate all that with them at the 100 mile mark. So we're onward toward Rock Gap. And the skies are blue. So we are headed up our last little incline after Albert Mountain. Uh, that's how we started off our morning, was climbing Albert Mountain. Then we've had a nice descent down off of there. We're just talking about how nice it is to see the sunshine and what a beautiful day this one's turned out to be to do this little last uh, couple miles in. Alright guys, here is the official sign that says Rock Gap. There it is, mile 105. Been out here since Sunday, it is now Thursday I think. Time to take a shower, get some fresh clothes on, and eat some real food. And walking out of Rock Gap, I can't wait for food. We are down to one pack of chewable Gatorade gummies between the three of us. This is the food we had left. <laughs> we are either experts at rationing food and planning for the trail, or um, we need to use better judgment next time, one of the two. Don't forget about the trail butter you gave me. Oh yeah, that's right, I just have trail butter, so we'd have survived. Yeah. We'd have made it one more day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am with my shuttle driver today. Her name is Beverly, and here she is. And she's an excellent shuttle driver. She covers everything from Springer Mountain all the way to the north of the Smokies, right? Correct. Fort. Davenport Gap, uh, I-40, and Standing Bear Farm. If you Anything from Springer up north of the Smokies to Standing Bear, uh, you can give Beverly a call, and she'll be happy to help you out. Great service, great ride, and great company. All right, guys, we are at Rock Gap. Yes. So we're at, okay, and uh, she's dropping me off, and I am headed to the NOC. It's barely before 2 o'clock, but I'm going to make it on the trail before 2, so. And I wish you safety and beauty on the trail. Thank you. I appreciate that. Here's the parking area where you saw us at. Took some time off the trail, and we're headed back. Rock Gap, destination, the NOC, about 30 miles north. Sign says we're 28 miles into North Carolina here. So, oh, you'll also notice I am sporting the brand new Intrepidan bandana. I know, what can I say? I'm lame. Let's head north and see how far we get. I have no clue how far I'm going today. I'm barely hiking before 2 p.m., but here we go. Let's roll. And the trail goes up on the side of the road, on the other side of the road, right up that incline there.
Just have to take a second out to show you this beautiful view. We are north of Wallace Gap, and I can't tell you what we're south of. And again, just beautiful views. Here's the sign, looks like it's brand new. Like totally brand new. 107 miles north of Springer Mountain and 2,070 miles to the right to Mount Katahdin. Hey guys, we're going down into Winding Stair Gap and if you can see the bus down here, I was told that this is run by the Transit Society or the uh, yeah, Macon County Transit System and that they provide shuttles three times a day at Winding Stair Gap as well as Rock Gap. All right, guys, this is Dan with Intrepidan. See you down and out on the trail. We are giving away some hiking gear. Okay, y'all. Now, here are the instructions on how you can enter the contest. Go to intrepidan.com forward slash contest. That's intrepidan.com. Dot com forward slash contest.